So in this video, I'm gonna make your tablet a little bit easier to use. Um, basically, when you pick up your tablet, it will kind of unlock like your phone. And when you set it down, it will lock as well. So this is more gonna be like a cell phone after we set this up. And what we're going to be installing is Gravity Screen Pro. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, in this video, we are going to be installing Gravity Screen Pro, which is just gonna make your Fire tablet much easier to use. Basically, when you pick up your Fire Tablet, it's going to unlock, and when you set it down, it's going to auto lock. Well, the three applications on our Fire Tablet that we're going to be using is the settings of our Fire Tablet, the Silk Browser, and the Amazon App Store. So you don't need anything special for this, just those three apps that come on your tablet straight from the factory. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into the Silk Browser, and once in your Silk browser, just go up to your address bar and type in bit.ly slash, and this is case sensitive, so you have to have all the capital letters. It's going to be capital G, lowercase s, capital S, capital S, and then one, two, three. So once you have that, just tap on the orange select button on your keyboard and it's going to show at the bottom, do you want to open this APK file? Click on open. Now, if you um, go here and tap on it, you can see that it says can't open. So no matter what we do, we can't open this APK file. So what we're going to have to do is we're gonna to have to go back out to our home screen and we're going to download an app. So we're gonna go into the Amazon App Store and once in the Amazon App Store, we just want to search for easy installer. All right, so just type in easy installer and it's going to be the first one that shows up in the upper left corner. It's basically like a blue transparent box and it's easy installer, just tap on download. All right, so once it's download, we just need to open that app and what it's gonna do is going to search your entire device for APK files and it's going to find them and put them right on the screen so you can easily install anything that you have downloaded. So we're just going to tap off gravity screens on the right hand side here and then at the bottom you can click install. Also note that you can also delete APK files so say if you install this there's no reason to have that laying around on your device you can open up the easy installer, check it off, and then tap delete. That way it deletes that file from your device. And it will search all of your device so you can get them all right in this one application. So all we need to do now is tap on the install at the bottom. And now it's going to give you this warning. Um, basically in the newer Fire tablets, you have to enable unknown sources for every single app on your Fire tablet. So all I have to do is here is tap on the settings and then tap this to be on and then tap the back button. And now we're back to the installer. And now all we have to do is tap install at the bottom right corner. And it says app installed. So now we can go ahead and open the app. And now it's just gonna pop open a bunch of stuff to help you get it set up. So no proximity sensors were found, that's fine. We're just gonna tap okay. And um, there's a one-time notice here. There's a note at the bottom here to uninstall, use the uninstall button in the app. So that's very important. Don't use the Amazon uninstall because it won't fully uninstall. So we're just gonna tap on okay here. And here we're going to tap on no because our Amazon Fire tablet does not have any of these. And this pop-up says device administrator permissions um, is needed for this to work. So just tap on OK. At the bottom here, you just want to activate this device admin app. All right, so that is done. 
And now what we need to do is just um, go through the settings and make sure it's set up. Now, if these settings don't work for you, you may just have to tweak these a little bit, um, but probably start out with what I'm gonna show you now, and then you can always change it later. So the first thing you want to do is in the pocket sensor section, just drag this all the way down to be zero. Now in the table sensor mode, you may wanna make this a little more sensitive. So let's take this down to be 10. In the proximity sensor, we're not going to change anything there. In the turn screen on by motion, we want to have that top option checked, which should be checked by default. And timeout, let's change that to be infinity, just all the way to the highest. And then the sensitivity, let's change that to be 60. There we go. And you can also uncheck false turn on protection in pocket. In the keep screen on by motion, we're going to change the sensitivity down to 25. And in the more settings, all of these are fine. All right, now at the bottom, the uninstall button is on the right hand side. So if you did want to uninstall this, you can just tap that and it's going to uninstall everything. Um, on the left side is a menu. So let's tap on the menu at the bottom. And in here, you want to go to special settings and we want to be sure that the last two options are checked. All right, so that's done. Let's go back. All right, now also in the permissions control, let's go into there. We just need to be sure that the top option is checked. All right, so we're basically done in the settings here. All right, so we are back at our home screen and now you can see that the gravity screen is on the bottom row on the right hand side. All right, so when I laid my tablet flat, it popped open with this message. So we're just gonna tap on okay to the message and then toggle that to be on. All right, so now let's lay our tablet flat again. All right, so you can see it just locked. And if I tilt it up, it unlocks, put it flat, it locks, tilt it up, it unlocks. Now I haven't actually removed the ads um, from my Fire tablet. So if I were to lock the tablet, um, I still do have ads there. Um, I'm still going to remove those and I will have a revised video on that. So basically now your Amazon Fire tablet is more like a phone screen. When you pick it up, it's going to turn on. When you set it down, it's going to turn off. Um, so that's much easier. Now there is one other thing that we should do. Let's just go back into the easy installer and let's go ahead and delete the gravity screen. It also, you can see that it is um, now installed. So you know that the APK is installed. There is no reason to be keeping this on our tablet. So we're just going to delete it. It's not going to delete the program off of your Fire tablet. All right, so now you can see it's gone back out to our home screen and you can see that the gravity screen is still here and everything still works. Um, all right, and that is basically it. So now your Amazon Fire tablet is more like a phone. The screen will auto turn on and auto turn off just when you set it down and pick it up, which is much better than how Amazon does it currently. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.